Hey guys, it's Brenda. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I know there are tons of reviews out there about this line, both good and bad, but I wanted to be my own judge and review this line for myself and try out these products to see if they work or not. It took me a while to actually get my hands on these products just because this line was so hyped up. Um, they were sold out in a lot of places and just recently I was able to pick up a few stuff, not a lot. If you guys want to see what I purchased and what I think about these products, then stay tuned for the end of the video. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. And here it says for smooth pore diffusing finish extended makeup wear. And this is how it looks. It comes in like a frosted bottle. It's very sleek and slim and it looks like this. It has a little pump. So I'm just going to pump it directly onto the face. Mainly on my T-zone areas. But then I'm going to blend it all, all over my face. Now I'm just going to blend it all over my face. It smells really good. What does it smell like? I don't know what it smells like, but it smells very good. It's very smooth. It feels like lotion, to be honest. It's not tacky. So for foundation, I picked up the color 290 and it took me a long time to actually find this color. So I was originally color matched when I was in Las Vegas, but it was nowhere to be found. I went to LA after I was in Las Vegas and I still didn't find it until when I finally came home is when I found it. I'm going to be using the Precision Makeup Sponge to blend out my foundation. And on the box it says use damp for buildable coverage or dry for full coverage. So what I'm planning to do is to use it dry on half of my face and damp on the other half of my face just to see if there's actually a difference. So I'm just going to be applying the foundation onto my face like this. So I pumped the foundation onto my face and off the bat you could tell that the foundation is not thick. It's very watery but that's okay. It was a big mistake pumping the foundation onto my face because it got all over the place. So next time I'm just going to put it onto my hand or directly onto the sponge. The makeup sponge is dry so I'm just going to blend that out. So it's blending out pretty nice. I don't know how I feel about this shade though. It looks a little too yellow. It looked good when I first tested it out but I feel like it looks a little too yellow right now. So let's see how it works. So I honestly did really like how that foundation looks. It looks very nice, very airbrushed um, with a dry sponge. So now I'm going to use it on the other half of my face damp to see if I see a difference. But like I said, I'm not going to be pumping the foundation onto my face because that was a mistake. The bottle got all dirty and it was just running down so I'm going to be pumping it onto my hand first and then applying it. I just applied about one, one and a half pump onto my hand and then I'm going to be using the damp blender and putting it onto my face. And that looks very nice to be honest with you guys. I probably am going to have to grab one shade lighter just because this one is a little too yellow and I could see why I was color matched to this color because I was a lot tanner last month. So now that the foundation is on off the bat I could tell that it did dry matte. This side was a little dewy at first just because I did use the makeup sponge damp but it did dry matte so to be honest with you guys if you guys want to use the sponge either dry or damp it doesn't really matter because it's going to end up being the same thing. But overall I do like how the foundation looks. It is very matte. I'm not used to matte foundations but I'm not mad about it. It does dry matte so if you don't like to look dry then I don't recommend this foundation. For contour I picked up the Matchstick Trio in light and it comes with the colors Linen, Amber, and Starstruck. The reason I picked this color was because I liked how the conceal and the highlight color looked but I wasn't too happy about the contour shade so I did go ahead and pick up the color Truffle separately. 
As you can see, the one that came with the set was this like brown grayish color and this was not going to complement my skin. So I did pick up Truffle separately and this is how it looks. I feel like it's very, it's a very neutral brown, nice contour shade. And I really do like how these are magnetic so you can store them all together and they will not get lost. So to conceal, I'm going to be using the color Linen. And I've seen a lot of reviews on how this shade is very rough to apply and it's not smooth so i'm going to go ahead and put some fix plus onto the stick so it can apply a little more smooth so i'm just going to spray with a little bit of fix plus just like that and then i'm going to be directly applying it onto my face like so I'm just going to be blending it out with the same makeup sponge. So far it's blending out very good. For the concealing coverage, I don't know how I feel about it. Just because I could still see a little bit of darkness under my eyes. Obviously not so much, but, but for a concealer you want it to have full full coverage just so all your dark circles and your imperfections are concealed and I don't know if this is actually for that so now that I have blended the concealer I'm going to be going with the contour shade and truffle so I'm going to be applying it on my forehead just a little extra to hide that five head and I'm gonna apply it to the hollows of my cheekbones and I'm also going to be putting it on my jawline you know what I'm also going to contour my nose why not I usually never really contour my nose but I'm going to try it today to see how that works and again to blend it all out I'm going to be using this beauty sponge while blending it I'm going to be pushing it towards my hairline like so and I do really like how it's blending out so far the concealer blended out pretty good and this one looks like it's blending out pretty good too usually my cheekbones is what gives it away if it doesn't blend good on the cheekbones then I could tell if I like the contour stick or not hmm it actually blended out very nicely guys it doesn't look streaky or patchy at all I really like how it looks this might be one of my favorite contour sticks now I think the key for contour sticks is just to apply a very small amount and just blend it out as lightly as possible. Just because if you spread it out too much then your whole foundation will come off and it will just look very streaky and you don't want that. That's happened to me before and that's why to be honest I never had good luck with cream contour or any contour sticks. So like I said, it did blend out very nicely. I do really like the truffle contour stick. It's so nice. It's by far the best contour stick I've ever tried out. So I'm very excited to use this in more of my looks. I'm just going to be setting my face really quick with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I do want to clean this up just a little bit. So I'm going to go like this. So meanwhile I leave that, I'm going to be going in with the Park Avenue Princess bronzer and I'm just going to be bronzing up my face with the Morphe M530 brush. 
And the only reason I'm doing this is just to set the contour. You want to go in with the slightest bit of product, not so much. I don't want to give it any more color. I just want to put the contour in place. And then with my big fluffy brush, I'm just going to be dusting off all the excess powder. I did pick up two highlighters. They're called the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters. Um, the colors that I picked up are Trophy Wife and Mean Money and Hustle Baby. Honestly, I'm so excited to use these. Out of the whole collection, I think I'm most excited about the highlighters. So this is Trophy Wife. As you can see, it's very yellow, but it's very pigmented. It does have a little bit of sparkles in there, but it's so pretty. So I know this color is probably not gonna complement my skin tone, but I just picked it up because it's very unique, it's very pretty. The other one that I am excited about and I know that I can use more often is the Mean Money and Hustle Baby Highlighter Duo. And it looks like this. It comes with the sheer highlighter and this is the one that's more like BAM. This one reminds me a lot of Champagne Pop for some reason. I do want to incorporate both highlighters in this video. So I'm going to be using the highlighter duo on my eye since it didn't come out with any eyeshadows. And basically what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of this bronzer on the crease. And then on my lid I'm going to be applying the color Hustla Baby. And I'm applying the same bronzer, the Park Avenue Princess with the Morphe M511 brush. And I'm just going to be placing that all over my crease. Now I'm just going to be applying this highlight shade in Hustle Baby on my lid with any flat brush. I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Usually when I use a shimmer shade, I dampen my brush a little bit, but this one doesn't need to be used damp. It looks so pretty just like that alone. I can only imagine how it's going to look as a highlighter. So this is how it looks on the eyes. This highlighter duo is definitely a yes for me. It's so pretty. It looks so stunning on the eyes. So like I said, I can only imagine how it looks on the cheekbones. Now I'm going to be applying eyelashes and I'm going to be using my Queen Bees by Coco Lashes. I'm going to do that off camera so I'll be right back. So I did already apply my eyelashes and I'm going to be just using a little bit of blush. I'm going to use the Milani Luminoso blush with the Morphe E4. I always like using blush just to give my cheeks a little bit of color. And I apply the slightest bit and just pounce it directly onto my cheek. And now for the actual highlight, I'm going to be using Trophy Wife. And like I said, this doesn't match my skin tone. It's very yellow, but I really like how it looks. So hey, why not? I'm going to try it out. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe 501 brush. And I'm just going to be just rolling it in there. Oh my god. Definitely very, very yellow. But like you guys could definitely see it's on. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I wouldn't wear this um, for an everyday highlighter. I would wear it more when I just want to like mix it maybe with another highlighter or Maybe on a night out or I don't know. I don't know what I would wear it with. But it's so pigmented. Oh my god, guys. I'm going to be putting some on the bridge of my nose. 
just with my fingers. You guys are going to be able to spot me from miles away. I swear to God, this is so intense. But I love it. I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with this. I'm going to be putting this on my brow bone as well. So off the bat, I'm obsessed with the highlighters. They're so pretty, so pigmented. They glide on very smooth, very intense. No bad reviews on this highlighter. It's so pretty. And now to finish the look, I'm going to be using the Fenty Glow Glass Bomb. And it says here, it's Addictive Shine Nourishing Wear Universal Finishing Touch. So I'm guessing it's just like a regular lip gloss going to be swatching it on my hand really quick it does have like a pink tint to it it's like a it's not so pink it's more like of a rose gold pink color and it smells very good it's like very sweet like almost like a frosting like a vanilla frosting just gonna be applying this on my lips it smells so good guys I think that's what I like the most, the smell. When you apply it to the lips, it doesn't really have any color to it. It's not so sticky either. I don't like when lip glosses are very sticky and then they get stuck to your hair and they're all over the place. I just don't like that. So this is how the gloss looks. It's very pretty. It smells very good. I said that like a million times already. But it's just so pretty. I like how it looks. It's not sticky. It doesn't have any tint to it, to be honest with you. But it just... I guess you can put it over top any lipstick. And it'll just add like a very nice shine color to it. I would probably rate it like a, a 4 out of a 5. And this is the finished look, guys. I really do like how it turned out. Out of everything, I would definitely recommend the highlighters and the contour stick. The contour stick blended out very nice. It looks so pretty. And of course, the highlighters are very intense. If you guys do like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.